Alright, well, I'm just quitting the game at this point. But what is going on, everybody? It's your pal, Mega Snoop, and I am standing at the incident site. It doesn't look like anything's going on anymore, but if uh, you were around the internet at all this morning, you may have seen a few things going on. Um, are you the real dude? No, that's not me. So, TTR, you good? Is everything okay? Y'all right? You need a hug? So I'll break this down. For the past couple days, TTR has been having some issues with their game, where the game hasn't necessarily been, like, completely online. It would be on and off, and then they had maintenance, and it was scheduled maintenance, and then it wasn't scheduled maintenance. And some people are thinking, well, maybe TTR servers just sucked and need maintenance, or maybe there was some sort of outside thing that happened that made it need maintenance. And I'm sure you probably could have believed that it was maintenance until something happened today. And you may have seen screenshots, and you may have seen videos, and you're probably seeing some on the screen right now of an incident that happened on Toontown. And it really kind of took me back to that good old, like, 2012 Toontown Online, where uh, people were figuring out how to use injectors to do some funny things on the game, like some funny, funny things. Before I go on, I'll preface this with the fact that I don't think that anyone's information is in danger, right? Usually when these things happen, it's due to an injector, and injectors... Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, <laughs> as I'm talking about it now... <laughs> would, you, would you look at that? Would you look at that? It just... They keep going up. They keep going up. Let me explain what an injector is. So basically... They have this program that will allow them to kind of alter the source code of the game on their client so then they can push that version of the game to the server. So they're not necessarily hacking the game itself, they're just kind of hacking the source code of it and then pushing whatever they're doing on their client to the server. And the server is supposed to have security to stop this kind of thing, but obviously it doesn't have security to stop this kind of thing. I gotta get a picture of this, hold up. That's amazing. That is beautiful right there. Because of this, that doesn't mean they're actually in the code itself. That means they don't have your passwords. They're not stealing your information. This is more of a statement thing. This has nothing to do with making you the player's time any worse. This is here because they're saying, Toontown rewritten, you need to change. You need to do something. Which I've been saying for years, man. But you know what? I can't do this, so... You Oh, and now it's gone. It is, it is gone. It was there, and now it's gone. And now it's back. It's coming back. That's interesting. <laughs> so I'll just let that keep going. But with that being said, um, it makes the things that happened over the past couple days seem more targeted. It definitely seems like somebody is uh, not happy with uh, what's going on with the way that the game is being run. Um, you're probably not going to get any more information than that from me here, but I'm sure if you look around, you might be able to find more information around the internet. Uh, about what's going on here. I'm not a news channel. I'm not here to talk about drama or anything But when something like this happens, it is pretty funny And I'm, I'm happy to show this off because you don't see this every single day, right? This is pretty funny when it comes down to it though uh, I think the biggest concerns people are have besides their own like security Which I already addressed is the fact is is this gonna kill TTR is TTR over because of this people are like This is what was happening in TTO and because this was happening in TTO that means this is gonna be the end of the TTR well, I'll say, I'll say two things. Number one, TTR is stubborn. They don't care. They, there could be no one playing their game. It could be in shambles and they would still work on it because it looks great on their resume. I mean, they love the game, but it, do, it does look great on their resume. And number two, the reason why this won't kill the game is that this isn't even the first time something like this has happened. Does anyone remember, oh gosh, was it like 2017, 2016 when someone else had an injector in TTR and they started using like the, the Toon HQ whispers to start like spewing like Nazi propaganda. Does anyone else remember that? Because that was some crazy times. I don't think I was on the game for that one, but that one was like, that one was kind of edgy. I'm not gonna lie. This is funny though. This is funny. What I think is probably gonna happen is that TTR is gonna slow down with whatever they've been doing and they're gonna have to address this. Will they fix it? Probably most likely until the next time something like this happens. Cause I don't know, something like this always tends to happen. It's just kind of how it's what happens with Toontown. Toontown in general is just Panda 3D and Python is it's not it's not the best for uh, security, you know. But I'll also be honest about this: people are thinking that if they have to divert their time and energy to focusing on this, that means they're going to be spending less time on field offices. But the way that the teams work is that they have different people working on this, so this honestly shouldn't really stop field offices. 
If they try to use this as an excuse for why field offices aren't coming out soon, that's a bad excuse. Your, your people who are trying to fix your server and work on security should not be the same people who are trying to code field offices. It just doesn't make sense. So no, if someone tries to tell you that this is going to delay field offices, don't, don't believe that. Field offices are already delayed. Who cares? It's happened. It's over. But what does it say that the most interesting thing that's happened on TTR in the past year is that a bunch of peach dogs create a Toontown Tower. Good old Tower of Babel into the sky. But yeah, this has been happening all day. I would have to assume that somebody on the Toontown team is aware of it. They haven't taken down the game yet. I guess we will have to wait and see how they handle this. More information to come, maybe? I don't know. You know, the comment section is actually going to be absolutely disgusting. But you know what? Leave some thoughts and comments down in the comment section. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and my thoughts about this. Again, this is funny. That's just what it is. This is funny. But I'm going to get going because I have better things to do with my life. You guys have a good rest of your day. Stay awesome. God bless. Peace out. See ya.